Welcome to my beautiful church. Yeah, I know, it's, it, it's, a, it's a work in progress. Sup guys, welcome back to Church of Minecraft, and we don't really have a church. This is just the spot where we're gonna make the church. Uh, this is just the spot on the, on the top of this volcano. So yeah, anyway, today we're gonna be talking about something called grace. Now, uh, a lot of you may have heard that word, people talking about the grace of God, but usually when I ask people what it means, they don't really know. So basically, uh, grace is very important to understand, because without it, without grace, Christianity is actually kind of bad news. But with grace, Christianity becomes good news. So, so what do I mean? Well... Uh, the Bible talks about a very sobering and uncomfortable reality that basically none of us are good enough for God. None of us are good enough at all. The Bible says in Romans chapter 3 that there is no one who does good, not even one. And that's quoting Psalm 14, which also says that. I'm just giving like a couple examples. There are like way more examples in the Bible. But the, the, general, the general trend is that, you know, nobody really is, is good enough. Now, it's an important part of being Christian is to reflect on that, reflect on like, you know, how have I sinned? How have I done wrong? But it's also important not to forget about grace because without grace, that will just make us depressed. It'll either make us depressed because we know we're not good enough or it'll make us very arrogant and proud of ourselves because we might trick ourselves into thinking we are good enough if we try hard enough. But we're not. So, um, what grace really means is free giving. So since God loves us infinitely, he is willing to give us salvation and eternal life for free. Free means that we don't have to earn it. We could never do that, because since no one's good enough, nobody could earn salvation. Nobody could earn God's love. It's not something you can do. Now, if you read the gospel stories, you read about these characters called the Pharisees. The Pharisees were the religious leaders of the time, and they followed all the rules, or at least they thought they did, and they were very proud of themselves. But they were very arrogant and unkind to people who they thought were sinners. They were very judgmental. So the Pharisees thought that they could earn God's blessings. So they were angry when Jesus was hanging out with sinners, when he forgave sinners, when he loved the sinners, because they didn't understand God's grace. They thought they were the ones who earned it and that um, people who weren't trying as hard as them didn't deserve God's love. There's a story, a parable in the Gospel according to Luke, where a Pharisee and a tax collector are praying. Now, the tax collectors were considered, like, the sinners, the bad guys. And the Pharisee says, like, Lord, I thank you that I'm not like these disgusting sinners. I'm paraphrasing. But the tax collector just said, Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. And Jesus says that the tax collector was the one who ended up being justified, and not the Pharisee, because the tax collector humbled himself. So, God's grace is free, you don't have to earn it, but God's grace is not for those who reject it. The Pharisees, they rejected grace, they thought they were good enough. So, but the Bible says that God opposes the proud, God loves the humble and opposes the proud. So with grace, we do not need to worry about being good enough. We just need to trust Jesus. Now, grace extinguishes sin. God's grace means that he forgives even the worst sinners. So no matter how big sin is, God's grace is always bigger. Now, some Bible verses are 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8. It says, Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers a multitude of sins. Because of God's love and God's grace... He will not count our sins against us. That's from Psalm 103. And Psalm 32 says, Blessed is the one whose sin the Lord does not count against them. And many times in the Gospels, when Jesus healed people, he would say, Your sins are forgiven. And Romans 5.20 says, Where sin increased, grace increased all the more. So basically, we are not good enough. But Jesus is good enough. Because of God's grace, Jesus, who is God, was willing to take the punishment for our sins so we wouldn't have to. That's a theme I've talked about it a lot. So, a lot of times, if we're religious, we will feel bad. We'll feel bad about how we're not good enough. But 
an important part of being a Christian is to understand and accept that we'll never be good enough and stop worrying about trying to be good enough. We're free from that. Now we are free. We are free to pray and grow closer to God without worrying about being good enough. Jesus died for the sins of the whole world, and through him we can know God. Jesus is the bridge between us and God, since he is both human and God. Now, you don't need to do anything. Jesus did it for you. That's called salvation. So, um, there are some people worry, oh, what if I'm not predestined to be saved? Because predestination is the idea that some people are uh, predestined to be saved. Now, nobody is actually predestined to hell. What is true is that um, if God does not intervene in our lives, we will end up sending ourselves to hell. Because, just like the Pharisees, our hearts naturally turn away from God as a product of the fall. It's a product of what happened with Adam and Eve. So God needs to actually intervene in our lives. But if you feel a call to repentance, if you feel a call to repent and ask for mercy, just like that tax collector did, it's a sign that God already has predestined you and that he already is working in your heart. So that's not anything you need to worry about. And you do not need to worry about whether or not you sin too much. You do not need to worry about whether or not you're worthy of God's love or his grace. Because grace cannot be earned, like I said. You are free from that. So that, that's, a ve that's a very important part of Christianity, is the freedom that we have in Christ. So if you're worried about whether or not you're worthy or whether or not you're good enough, that is something I would like you to think about. God's grace is freely given. So because we are um, freed by grace, that's not a license to sin. Because if we really love Jesus, we won't want to sin. If we really love God, we won't want to sin. So um, ro yeah, uh, in the book of Romans, it says that, um, shall we go sinning so that um, grace may increase? And he's like, no, by no means. We should not do that. Because um, living in grace means allowing the Holy Spirit to change us so that sin will be less attractive to us. So if we are under grace and not under like a set of rules, we'll sin less because we don't want to sin, not because we're worried about punishment. All right, the sun setting, I should wrap up. So yeah, if you're, once again, if you're worried about whether or not you're good enough, it's very important to remember God's grace.